Hey, I'm Dr. J. Welcome to my kitchen. Today we're going to make a delicious pumpkin bread pudding. It's going to be so simple and fast and you're going to love it. It's everything fall now, right? So that means pumpkin, pumpkin spice lattes, all the good stuff. I love this time of year. If you followed me for any length of time, you know I love the cooler temperatures. So I'm just gonna get started. I've got five large eggs in here. I'm just gonna whisk them up. And it's just, all I'm really doing right now is just creating a custard, okay? So I'm gonna just whisk those up. Sometimes it helps if you just poke the yolk a little bit. It'll, they'll just whisk up a little bit easier. Okay. Okay, so in my measuring cup, I have two cups of whole milk and one cup of half and half. And I'd like to take everything out and get it to room temperature. That's really important in baking. I know a lot of times people are afraid to bake, but sometimes it's just those little steps that make things cook better for you, right? So we don't want something really cold. So the same thing, my eggs and my milk and my half and half were at room temperature. Okay, I'm just gonna whisk those to combine. I have three teaspoons of vanilla. I love vanilla and I think it just really adds a lot of pop to this. This is two and a half teaspoons of pumpkin pie spice. This is a great thing to have in your cabinet. It's cinnamon, it's nutmeg, it's ginger. All this, all the good stuff that's going in there. And again, just give it a little stir. I have one half a cup of light brown sugar. Gonna make it nice and sweet. Okay, just give it all a stir. And I have one half cup of uh, maple syrup. I love it. Again, this is, makes me think of fall, right? All those good flavors. And now I'm gonna whisk in my pumpkin. So I've got one can, 15 ounce can of organic pumpkin. You could absolutely substitute for fresh. Uh, this is just an easier way and they've kind of done all the work for me. If you're probably following my channel, you're probably a very busy person. So we try to take some, some steps when we can. I call them little cheats. But I also know this is good. This is just organic pumpkin that's, in, that's already done for us. And again, I'm just gonna whisk this all together. Just, we just want everything combined because in a few minutes we're gonna pour it over our bread. I just wanna make sure everything's really evenly mixed in here, that's all. Okay, everything is pretty much mixed up there. Okay, so now this is one cup of raisins that I have soaking in dark rum. Just gonna add a little bit of flavor. We're not gonna put the rum in there, but the raisins are gonna have that flavor going on. My honey likes to, it's funny, not a big drinker, but he loves to make cocktails every now and then. So I have a feeling we're gonna have a, a rum drink later in our future today. So just gonna strain, it's okay if you get a little bit in there, no big deal, strain it out though. And you don't have to do this, you could actually just soak them in water. That would be fine as well. So we have some friends, some younger friends, Mel and Zach, and Zach loves bread pudding. So I know he hasn't had it in a while, and I was talking to Mel about it, and she was like, yeah. So Zach, we're gonna be bringing you some bread pudding tomorrow when we see you. The next point is really important. So the bread, this is one loaf of French bread. I bought it actually today, so it was fresh. So if you, if you buy it fresh, you do wanna dry it out. So I cut it up into cubes, and then I put it um, on a baking sheet, 325 degrees for 14 minutes. About halfway through, I just kind of gave them a stir, took them out and let them cool. The best way to do it really is, you know, have day old bread or two day old bread. That's how this recipe kind of was developed, right? People had stale bread, they didn't want to waste it and have this delicious uh, pudding. Okay, so I'm just gonna pour this over. Get my little raisins are mixed up in there. Okay, so even though this is already smelling good, right? We wanna pour our custard, our pumpkin custard over with the raisins and all. I'm gonna stir it all together. We want this to sit for about at least 15 minutes. Okay, you can be heating up your oven at the same time. So I'm gonna use this little spoon. We'll get it all mixed in because you really want that bread to really get saturated all this pumpkin spice goodness. All right, so I'm gonna coat it all up. And then we're gonna get this in the oven, just about 20 minutes. I'm probably gonna let this sit 15, 20 minutes and then we'll get it in the oven. But you wanna make sure every piece is coated. Okay, so every piece is coated. We're just gonna let this sit 15, 20 minutes. It's gonna absorb all that delicious custard. We're gonna get it into our pan and get it in the oven. Can't wait. 
Okay, so my pumpkin mixture has been sitting for 20 minutes. You can see, if you can kind of look, you can see how it absorbed a lot of that custard. So I'm just gonna pour it into my prepared pan. So this is a nine by 13. I sprayed it with some coconut oil spray. You could use whatever you have. You could also just rub it with some soft butter. That'd be fine too. You just, want, you just don't want this sticking, right? So I'm gonna pour this in. Fantastic. So my oven's preheated to 350, and it will take anywhere from 45 minutes to an hour to cook. You just wanna check it to make sure everything is absorbed, everything, the bread is a little bit crispy, and you can tell it'll be all set. Okay. All right, gonna spread out, look at that, fits perfectly. I'm gonna leave some pieces kind of sticking up a little bit. Those will get like a little bit crunchy. I like that, so you will have a little bit of different texture in the in the bread pudding, so I'm, I'm good with that. Some people, if you want, you can pat it down a little bit more, and then you'll, you'll have a more even consistency, but I actually like those a little bit more drier, a little bit crunchy pieces, and then some of that a little bit more soft. So you do it how you like it, okay? So this is gonna go in uncovered, 350 on the middle rack, 45 minutes to an hour. You just gotta check it. I would check it around that 45 minute mark. All right. Okay, see you in a bit. Okay, well, oh my gosh, it smells delicious in here. It smells like fall. Can't wait to dig in. But you know, Eric is always working behind the camera. I think he deserves a little bit of this of this dessert, don't you think? So I'm just gonna serve it up. While this was in the oven, I made some whipped cream and I put some maple syrup in there. Fabulous. I'll give mm. you the recipe for that, right? Mm. Yeah, I, I actually cheated and tasted it. It's really, really good. So this is bread. This is bread. But it's pudding. But it's pudding. Pudding. Pudding, yes. And it's got okay. delicious pumpkin pie, oh, have I spice in before? there, pumpkin, um, real pumpkin in there. It's got raisins. Mm. The raisins were soaked in rum. I mean, come on. Come on. Right? Why is so, the going? I uh, know. So I'm also going to do, I've got this little sifta. I love these little things, a little powdered sugar, because why not? I know I'm usually giving you some health tips, but I have none for you today. Go walk a little bit after this, right? It's <laughs> yeah. okay. All right. And then it's a little powdered sugar, and then a little bit of this maple whipped cream. Wow. Yeah, it's pretty good. Oh, that's crazy. Looks pretty yeah, too, right? A, I don't, know, Got a I don't know if I've had bread pudding before. I'm not sure. This could be a first. Well, let me know what you think. Yeah. Can I just, Gosh, that just... smells good. <laughs> right? Oh. I know. That's so good. I All love right. maple, so maple and pumpkin, come on. Mmm. Mmm. Right? What? I know. There's raisin? Yeah. Do you get the rum? Maybe. A little bit. That's all right. Awesome. <laughs> well, listen, so if you have that bread, so today I did get it fresh, right? Sometimes I'm just always cooking, but if you have that day old bread, use it up. Make a bread pudding. Mm. You can just be as creative as you want. I mean, you could do chocolate. I mean, you can make all kinds of flavors with this, but I am really into all the fall spices right now. So anyways, I hope you enjoy this recipe. Please make it for your friends and family. If you have not subscribed, please do. Don't forget to click that bell so you know when our videos are coming out next. We love you all and happy fall. Enjoy. Okay. okay. <laughs>